Before we get into today's video, I need to address something because my desk is an absolute mess and it really needs just a day dedicated to sorting it. Take a look at all the Ninjago sets we got from that mystery box. I did end up, I don't know if you saw the community post, I did end up identifying this as a creator three in one and I might build the race car from it because I think it looks a bit cooler than this. There's a few odd studs dotted around, but there's some really cool models here. We've got this car that sort of opens up. I think it's a ghost catcher of some sort. So I'm not too well versed with Ninjago, but that snake copter does look really cool. I do have plans for that. And a few of you might be aware we did have some ideas down in the comments of that video. I've also got this tray was all the pieces from Luke's X-Wing mech. These are all the spare ones left over from the microfighter, which we will be taking a look at in a second. That is the premise of this video. I've got a bunch of old models. I found my Boba Fett mech at last and a few other poly bags and even a power miners mech at the back there. A few of the spare pieces from that bundle. This bag of pieces that needs to be cleaned is still, uh, it's about half full, but there are so many pieces in that. And as well as that, I actually found two more bags of pieces that need to have their stickers removed. So that is all going to be done today. And then I have this tray of pieces. You've got the odd models in here, like the IG mech. Again, the little Boba mech and these droid carriers from the May 4th, this year's gift we've purchased. And I think this set was from, I'm gonna say 2012. I feel like I just say that for everything now, but it was around that period. So I've got a ton of Lego to sort, but let's clear this and get into today's video. Before we take a look at the model, quick shout out to all of you that have hit the subscribe button and helped us reach 1.7K subscribers on the channel. That is absolutely crazy. We only hit 1K a month ago. So to be approaching 2K, can we hit it by the end of the month? That'll be the next target. But here is the Microfighter X-Wing. I think you've all waited long enough to see it. I'm quite happy with how it turned out, actually. I didn't think that we'd have the pieces needed, and I decided to not use any of the bigger pieces. You can see we have the mech torso piece here. We have both arms and legs in there, even the 1x5s for the blaster or the 1x5s on the bottom for the feet. Haven't used any of them, and the instructions for this model will be up on Rebrickable. You can probably see it on the screen as I do upload them a day early for Brick Tier members. So join the channel, three pound a month, and you'll get access to every single set of instructions I have ever made for no extra cost. I think that's a pretty good deal. And I do have the UCS version of Luke. Now, the UCS version does not come with the mech, I'm afraid. It is exclusive to the X-Wing, and I'm sure LEGO will definitely be keeping it that way. They might give us printed arms though. If you ask me, I'm not interested in the dual molded legs that do look really cool, but you can pick up the UCS Luke key ring for five pound here in the UK. I think that makes it only six, seven dollars and euros unless you're in Australia and you can take the legs and the arms off. Yes, very illegal and might damage some Lego pieces. I haven't had any problems personally, but I know it's not a safe way to be treating your Lego but then you could add them to your Luke minifigure from the mech, from the last X-Wing playset, and you have a UCS Luke, which in my opinion is pretty cool to have without spending the premium price of the X-Wing. If only they did that for C-3PO or Ilara and some of the other exclusive minifigures. How does this X-Wing size up to last year's Micro? And we'll also be taking a look at this compared to the Captain Rex Y-Wing because we do get Y-Wings in the original trilogy. And I actually used this micro poly bag from last year. This is the one given out around May 4th. I think it's been available since January last year. And you probably still pick it up in certain stores that have poly bags, if have any of the older style of Lego poly bags, especially the Star Wars ones. Star Wars, Marvel, DC can be a bit hard to get, but if you know where to look, I'm sure you'll still be able to find it. And the wingspan is almost identical. I say almost because I think there is probably a total of a stud in it. You can see that I use the ball joints on the left, which spread it out just further than the Technic joints on the right. But it does size up 
pretty well. And because the front of it is two wide rather than the one wide on the poly bag, I've actually shortened it to match up with the other micro fighters. Now, I could have bought an X-Wing micro fighter to compare with this. I think there was a Snap Wexley one. We've also got an original trilogy one. I think even Poe Dameron's coming a micro fighter at some point with his many X-Wing models but I just wasn't spending that much money. This is the closest comparison you'll get, but it does size up quite well with the other micro fires. The wings are a bit wider and thinner than bulky with the rounded bricks on them. But personally, I'd prefer this to some of the over, over exaggerated sizes on some of the micro fires. That being said, I do think this would line up to a more modern micro fighter because if you ask me, I don't think Rex's Y-Wing has too much of an exaggerated build. The engines are quite almost proportional. They're probably more proportional to the original trilogy version. I feel like the engines should stick out to about here, so they haven't been stretched. The cockpit itself, yeah, the cockpit could probably be a little bit thinner, but it is a microfighter, so they've just rounded off that to have more of a substantial build. and. It make it look in less of a frame like the original trilogy one and fill it out a bit more for the Clone Wars style. I think it goes great alongside. If you've picked up Rex's Y-Wing and don't fancy having a mech around, of course, you can always do the opposite. I have turned Rex's Y-Wing into a mech, combined it with the Stormtrooper one. So if you have both, check out the video again. If you want instructions for one of these, all the instructions are going to be accessed on Discord. So definitely consider becoming a member today and you can have two micro fighters, you can have two mechs. I really do prefer the micro fighters to the mechs. Uh, nothing against the mechs really, but I'm just a bigger fan of micro fighters. They've stuck around longer, perhaps in a few years if the micro fighters keep coming out one a year and not looking as great as the mechs, I might change my mind, but right now, I definitely prefer having these two on my shelf than if I had both the mechs. Luke's X-Wing does have his lightsaber clip just on the bottom there, and it does have a little stand. I've tried to give it feet using the pieces. It did seem a little weird. We've also got a joystick in the middle, which if you were to grab the blaster from the Luke mech set, you can actually sit in the front because there's one thing that this X-Wing is missing and that is the flick fire missiles or the stud projectiles as they're now called because Rex has two on either side and I guess that would have been the easy thing to do for Luke, include some brackets with some stud shooters on the side but the mech only comes with one and I know you aren't a massive fan of stud shooters, well most of you aren't anyway. Let me know down in the comments if you do actually like the stud projectiles because We've had a few problems with Rex coming with some round tiles rather than studs. They're definitely stud projectiles and not tile projectiles. Let's just say that for certain. But I really like how Luke's X-Wing has turned out. We've got the engines on the back slightly modified. Even the wings have been modified to have these clip joints to better represent the wings. Of course, the perfect piece belongs on this microfire. These ski poles, which do look really, really good. But I actually think that these bar clip elements do hold their own against them. So let me know what you think about this micro fighter. And again, if you do want to build it, instructions are already up on the Discord. And thank you so much for sticking through to the end of the video. If you did like what you saw, then I would appreciate you leaving a like before you go and subscribe if you are new here because there are many more LEGO Star Wars mocks coming in the future. Check out all the videos on screen. Thank you so much for watching and may the bricks be with you always.